It's fight time at Supreme in Japan. Seriously, we've seen it all. I'm your boy Reggie Casual from thecasual.co and that's next on The State. Let's get it. The Supreme Nike NBA drop went off with a bang in Japan and one of the more contentious lineup mishaps to date. Some Supreme stands from China had camped in line for hours only to be met by security that told them they were unable to buy because they didn't employ the dress code that had been enacted by Supreme Japan. Now, full disclaimer, the video that you are about to see shows images of fighting and raucous behavior. Nobody was seriously injured in this video, which is ridiculous, but I have to say that just in case you guys are uncomfortable with watching something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Basically in Japan, hyped brands have become huge, mirroring what you see in the West, but a lot of the people in the line are often not Japanese. In fact, many of them come from other parts of Asia, the most prevalent out of the group being Chinese and Taiwanese, and they rolls deep. And in this particular case, the assailant happened to be a Chinese person. But let's go a bit deeper than the surface to see if the ending result is something a bit more complex. So to combat the influx of buyers coming from other countries, many stores in Japan have put systems in place so people won't buy entire stores stores to get product, which would subsequently leave hundreds of others without something to buy and having that product leave the shores of Japan in massive numbers, effectively killing the resale market that has thrived in Japan for years. Now, some of these systems range from number lottery systems, email lotteries, Instagram lotteries, or in the case of this particular Supreme drop, a dress code and ID verification. Oh yeah, it's first come first serve, but if you're not wearing Supreme, at least at this launch, you will be asked to leave. And such was the case here. Not only were the individuals not wearing Supreme, they shared an ID, which was a big no-no at any drop. They were asked to leave and the assault ensued. So let's stop right there though. Let, let's, let's take a moment, a moment of silence to understand what happened. You hit that man, a security guard with a chair because you couldn't buy Supreme because of the rules that Supreme put in place. As we say in America, let me go ahead and give you this one. Bruh, bruh, <laughs> bruh, it ain't that serious, okay? But it is to a lot of people, I understand that, because many of these people are resellers, and for some reason, they get doubly serious about the money that they could make through the resale game. But there is also an underlying reason why this is starting to become a problem in Japan. Now, a lot of the Japanese find that this type of behavior by foreigners is abhorrent, in absolute disregard of Japanese customs and decorum. And it has led the country to not being shy about its soft discrimination towards particularly Chinese visitors at times. And this has not been lost on Chinese people. They are very keen when rules are put in place that single them out. The ID verification is one such rule. Sure, everyone has to do it, much to the dismay of the Japanese citizen, but what if you don't have an ID on you? It might be a little bit more annoying. Or maybe you don't have your passport and you didn't think you needed it to buy something and you leave it in your luggage. Or what about the dress code rule? I mean, if you have no Supreme in your country, how in the heck can you effectively buy it before you come unless you buy some fake stuff? It's suspect and many Chinese people know it. So yes, it is annoying. Yes, it's kind of prejudiced and discriminatory. Yes, it may be unfair, but in this case, you gotta take the L. You gotta fight another day. Figuratively, it ain't that serious. Don't go fool John Cena. Don't go fool WWE on anybody at a Supreme Drop. I don't care where you are. It don't matter where you are. Never go fool WWE. Don't do it. And if you do feel like you're the type of person that might assault a security guard because you can't pick up what you want from Supreme, at least don't do that action in Japan because Japanese people are a consensus type people, incredibly communal. It's their biggest strength, but it certainly is their biggest weakness. If a bad apple does something out of line due to frustration or not 
that image on all the people is often cast. I mean, this was on the news. This was on the news, yo. That's how mundane Japan is. A supreme drop where a security guard gets hit by a chair was major news in Japan. And this is not by accident. It's by design. It's to show that certain people of a certain group are doing something. Now, Supreme Japan has already issued a statement apologizing for the event, but what's done is done. You can fully expect new rules to be put in place due to incidents like this. It wouldn't be that all surprising if local governments and businesses enacted a release day rule that stated you had to be an actual resident of Japan to purchase on launch day. That's not surprising, and many Japanese would almost certainly agree with this rule change, whether that's prejudice, discriminatory, or not. Seriously, Japanese people can sometimes be oblivious to these discriminatory and prejudiced practices, especially in the government, because things become so matter of fact and based off observation. I mean, for example, ask a Japanese what Americans like to eat and you'll most likely hear a combination of hamburgers and donuts or the like, which to be honest is true. Many of us enjoy a great hamburger and a lovely donut to wash that down is great, but it certainly isn't the consensus among all all of us, but it's the most persistent observation through that lens. So if we take it back to Supreme, if one group of people is causing these problems for the Japanese, they are going to target that group of people because it's the observation. Now, of course, this isn't true for all Japanese people. We're having a little bit of fun here. Most are fantastic and completely inviting of other cultures, but the point is maintaining the peace is important in Japan and they will cast judgment quickly if they start seeing a pattern. For them, being patient, accepting results, and dealing with the outcomes are cornerstones of Japanese life. You rarely see Japanese people fist fighting and it's even upsetting for them that they even have to feel the need to hire bodyguards at drops in Japan. A few years ago, this was unheard of. So yes, it can be quite upsetting to deal with the cultural norms in Japan if you feel that you're being targeted or if you're just unfamiliar with it. But there are some things that we put in place. What do you do? Well, one, you just follow the rules. If you have to take the L, take it. Because guess what? There's always gonna be another drop. Two, don't fight security. They have no control over the rules that stores put in place and definitely don't go full WWE on them to try to make a point. It's not their fault. Now it's yours. It's your fault now. You're hitting people over the head with chairs. Don't make sense, bro. And number three, it ain't that serious, bruh. Chill. It's just close. It's just close. And I want you to understand what that is close. But in all seriousness, we're interested to hear your take on this situation. What do you think about Japan's rule system? Is it too strict? Is it just right? Or how about this incident in general? Let us know in the comments. Also, give a thumbs up if you like this video, but most importantly, keep it locked right here for all of your info on international street fashion and culture from Tokyo. It's your boy, and keep it casual. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu, and we out. I'll see you guys in a minute. You can check out more videos from The Casual by checking these guys out right over here. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram. You can even follow me personally. That's always fun just to stay updated on the latest. But most importantly, YouTube, because no update on the time, to stay updated on YouTube, press the circle below me.